Hey guys, welcome to another video and I'm sorry I've been missing for a few days but there is a lot of things happening like you see this background that has changed a lot of things are changing at smartphone tutorials that's the reason i have been busy and meanwhile what we have done here is i've got my hand on two different oneplus devices that is a six gig variant that i already have and i did get another red colored 128 gig variant now, i've not purchased those but i had a brief experience with them so i thought why not shoot a speed test so there are a few videos that are going to come up but today's video is about a speed test between oneplus 6 6 gb versus oneplus 6 8 gb we're going to see if it's going to make any big difference in benchmark and speed test or not for now if you've not already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get going into your eyes makes it all forgiven i feel like ever will be blown all right guys so welcome to another video and as you can see we have two one plus six devices over here the one to the left is eight gigabytes of ram red color and the one to the right is six gigabytes of ram just like my one plus six that i have now we're going to do a speed test and a lot of comparisons but first things first let me show you both of them are running the latest oxygen os both of them are brand new devices and both of them of course are running oreo out of the box now first things first we will go ahead and do a reboot test and we will check which phone boots up faster i'm guessing the 8 gig one should but nonetheless let's go ahead and do the reboot test in three two one All right, the results are quite surprising over here. The OnePlus 6 6 GB variant decides to boot up faster. Now that's really, really strange. Nonetheless, let's quickly go to the home screen of both the devices. And as you can see over here, the first row has a few benchmark ap applications like we have CPU Z, we have Antutu benchmark, we have Geekbench, and we have GFX benchmark and speed test as well. Now, if we look at the second row of these apps we have a few heavy games and a few light games and then we have a few social media apps and at the bottom we have a few system applications like phone messaging chrome and stuff like that so let's quickly begin with the speed test and let's see if you really need 8 gigs of ram or not now beginning with the speed test here cpu z same launch times now these initial apps as of course both of them are running exactly the same software they should not have any problem you know launching these apps together and for now both the phones the 6 gigabyte variant and the 8 gigabyte variant are running neck in neck and now with the launch of s 9 i can see that there is a slight delay for the 6 gigabyte variant and 8 gig has already taken the lead and now we move on to the second game so there is a slight delay when it comes to the 6 gig variant and that is expected because there is 2 gigabytes of extra memory in there now 8 gigabyte model has already started loading up player unknowns battleground and now the one plus six with six gigs of ram is trying to catch up now it'll be interesting to see which of the two devices holds more apps in memory now remember dynamic battery optimization has been disabled in both the phones so they should be able to keep as many apps in memory as many possible for now there is not much of a difference between the two devices Moving on to some lighter gains, Sonic and now Subway Surfers, not really much of a difference. There is hardly any difference between the two devices. And now we move to social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. The launching on both the phones is lightning fast. But yes, the 8 gigabyte variant does have an edge over here. And we come to the end of the test, 144. 145 to be precise and 147 for the 6 gigabyte variant so that's a two second difference the next up what we're going to do is we will reload all the apps from the memory and see which has better ram management so as always with the system apps there should not be a problem at all because these are very very light applications and the same should go for social media apps so so far both of them are holding their own and let's move on to some games so 6 gigabyte variant did reload the lighter games and 
the 8 gigabyte variant is reloading mod combat as well and pubg is in memory but not for the 6 gig variant so yes the 8 gig variant does use up the extra 2 gigabytes of ram and does keep some more apps and games in memory so that's a clear yes over there but we have an interesting observation in benchmarks if you look 29961 for 8 gigs and 290578 for 6 gigabytes so that's barely any difference when it comes to the benchmark numbers and these are unified benchmarks which were done with the same battery level with the same application version without making any changes and both the phones were switched off for 10 minutes and then the benchmark was run so there's hardly any difference in entity let's see what happens in a few other benchmark numbers next up let's move on to geekbench now 2425 for 8 gigabyte variant and 2427 for 6 gigabytes and 8960 for multi-core and 8949 so there's barely any difference now the last comparison for the day between these two awesome devices what does it say 4572 and 4397 3560 and 3481 so you will notice that there's barely any difference and two seconds of difference when it comes to speed test so i don't really think if you don't need the extra storage you're good with six gigabytes of ram now that's my thinking what do you think let me know in the comment section for now this was a detailed speed test and benchmark comparison of six versus eight gigabytes one plus six if you like the video like share and subscribe until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials goodbye